So AI is a new wave in technology and I've seen so many people confused about how to use AI without just using it to write a dissertation and be flagged of plagiarism. So in a short while, I'll be telling you the cool ways you can use AI in your everyday life. So let's get right into it. Well, here's a story that's not getting a lot of attention. What is real and what is not? The average person has to say to themselves, I know. There's a disclaimer at the end of the movie. So Google, and when something is done with a chatbot, it has to have a disclaimer. So I think when we hear AI, what a lot of us know is ChatGPT, because that was sort of like the first one to come back. But there's some other tools like Bard by Google, there's some copy AI tools, there's even now Notion AI. At the moment, there are so many AI tools on the market, so whichever tool you choose to use is heavily going to depend on what you are trying to achieve and what you actually made this tool for. So how can you use these tools in your everyday life? The first one is as a personal assistant. You know like those nitty gritty things that sometimes you can't get to do because they're small tasks but they take a lot of time. So you can use AI to start off some of these things. You can say, hi, um, pretend you're me, X, Y, Z, draft an email saying da 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 da. And then the AI tool generates the email and then you can copy it and build on it. That way you're working quicker, faster, and you're more productive. The next way that you can use AI in your everyday life is brainstorming. Any idea that you would usually need a human being to bounce off, now with these AI tools right at your fingertips, you can just open a browser in your window and start bouncing off ideas of this. So you could be from new business, you could want to start, it could be ideas for an article you want to write it could be ideas for a restaurant you want to open whatsoever it is you can definitely use AI in your everyday life for brainstorming one of the ways that I'm using sometimes is also to bring some content ideas as a content creator so when I think of some ideas sometimes I bounce these ideas of AI try to see what angles that I should be focusing on when I try to create my content to make sure that my content is you know the most helpful type of content it can be another way you can definitely use AI in your everyday life is for upskilling, learning a new skill or just all around personal development. So let's assume that today I am a sales professional and let's say in the next six months, I want to be promoted in my company to become the head of sales or something of that sort. So what I can do is I can go into either Bard, Google, ChatGPT. However, one thing I'm going to say about ChatGPT, when you're using ChatGPT for things like research especially is that a lot of the responses you're going to get are limited to September 2021. So do not use this as your entire sort of truth when doing things that are research related. So yeah, you could go into one of your different AI tools, whichever one you want to use and you can see create a personal development plan to ensure that I, ex a sales professional, is eligible for promotion in the next six months. And I kid you not, this tool will generate something. And the good thing about AI chatbots especially is that you can keep going back and forth. And as you keep feeding in more information, it continues to learn. So the next thing, after I say create a sales blah, 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 personal development plan, I can say, this should be focused on being a sales professional in Africa. That way it would give me like more concise, more focused responses. And guys, I am telling you, the moment you begin to use this as part of your like workflow, you find out that it just helps you be more productive because you're no longer just like thinking everything with your head. You literally have somewhere to bounce things off and kickstart things. And then the key to using AI to do any sort of task, guys, is that when AI gives you something, make sure when you read it and you work on it with your human knowledge and understanding. Because the problem with AI tools is that, especially for something like sending me a content idea or something, it will probably give everyone different types of re the same response if we give in the same prompt. And you don't want to be saying the exact same thing everybody's saying. So use your brain, be smart. 
Another way you can use AI in your everyday life that isn't spoken about enough is planning a travel itinerary. So assuming that I am trying to travel to say Spain in the summer of June 2024 and I need an itinerary of things that typically happen, AI, ChatGPT, Bard, whichever one, Notion AI, whichever one that you like would literally create a travel itinerary for you. And I really like this because it gives me an idea of things that are very like unique or those things that you typically have to do when you visit a place and then you can now build off it, tweak it, change it, whatever to fit your needs. When it comes to AI tools, I personally feel like for writing related tasks for AI, Notion AI seems to be the best that I've experienced. So for things like copying newsletters, whatnot, Notion AI seems to be a little bit more advanced than like ChatGPT or Bard and some of the responses it gives. I don't know if maybe because Notion is just generating new documentation tool, so it's just able to do more, but I prefer it. I prefer the responses it gives me. I prefer how things work for writing with Notion AI. Another super interesting way that you would not have thought of to use your AI tools is for your fitness, your health, and your wellness. Before you begin to use AI tools for these days, realize that AI tools are not licensed health professionals. So you need to be careful with the information that you're being given. But one very interesting way that you could use AI is say, I have chicken, tomatoes, onion, and quinoa. Create a meal that is heavily protein based that will take me 10 minutes to cook for a lunch or for dinner. And AI will, you know, create something for you. You could use it to create weekly meal plans to achieve some of those fitness goals that you're trying to achieve. You could use it to draw up workout plans say you're trying to build muscle or you're trying to gain weight you can use it to create some of these things and you know it is not a licensed fitness or health professional but it's a really really good place to start and then begin to build on top of it another really really cool way that you could actually use ai as well is when you're searching for jobs or when you're trying to get new jobs so you can use ai to generate a cv you could use it to generate like say a cover letter you could also take a job description and put it in there and say create a cv that is best suited for this job and you put the link or you put the description in there now for example you're not going to copy and paste the exact same thing without reading through to make sure that it aligns with your skills or your responsibilities or what you can do but it's a really really good place to start so in that way the ai tool will obviously pick all the things that it's usually being looked at and you know you'll go over it and find ways to make sure that your submission and whatever is hitting the mark another really cool way and it, which is not the final way of course that you could also use ai is for pitching and this is really helpful for content creators photographers just anyone with a service-based business so you can take the person that you are trying to pitch feed chat gpt bard or any of these ai tools with that information and also fill it with some of your personal information and this tool will generate a pitch email that you could also go further to tweak in order to achieve the goals but then you do not have to sit down and think of pitch emails or pitch decks from scratch before pitching your potential customers so this is why i say that technology is really really here to improve our lives and make things quicker faster and easier so these are some of the ways that i am using this in my day-to-day -day life i've used it to de develop career development plans i've used it to develop you know pitching emails or pitching ideas for certain brands that i want to work with i've also used this tool to sometimes test out a few recipes and whatnot or things that i should be eating and i did not add this in the video but also if you are trying to learn a language and maybe you're trying to have someone to text or speak with ai is a really really good tool to sort of test that with so you could say oh let's as you were speaking in french and you kind of like text each other in that language which will help you strengthen the way that you understand and know the language better so yes i know people saying that ai is here to take our jobs but basically if we 
you know how to use it we will do our jobs better and no one will be taking our jobs these are some of the really really helpful ways that i use this in my everyday life and i hope you find it helpful if there is a way that you are using these ai tools that i have not mentioned in this video do leave a comment below i'd really love to learn from you and then until next time see you in my next video stay beautiful stay gorgeous and have a good week Ciao.